Hello, 3D printing friends. It's time for another Monoprice Mod Mondays on the BV3D channel. Today, we're going to give our printer a magnetic personality. What am I talking about? Stick around and find out. I'm Brian, and you are watching BV3D. So a couple of weeks ago, Creality introduced a removable magnetic build surface. They call it the C-Magnet build surface. It's designed to fit the Ender 3 and the CR20. Those printers have a slightly larger heated bed than our Monoprice Maker Select Plus, but based on what I saw of the product on Creality's site, it looked like it could be made to fit. Spoiler, it can. Now, when I bought it, it was on sale for about 13 bucks, and I think the price now is about 20 bucks. There's a link in the description if you want to check it out. So let's take a look at it and see what we need to do to get it installed on our printer. The C-Magnet build surface consists of two flexible magnetic sheets. This one has a build tack like plastic surface that we print on and the other has an adhesive backing that we stick down onto the heated bed. Before we cut, it's important to note that the C-Magnet sheet has a preferred orientation. So if the removable sheet doesn't feel like it's being held strongly by the magnetic base, try rotating the removable sheet by 90 degrees and that should improve the hold. Now we need to get this down to roughly 220 millimeters by 220 millimeters. First, we'll cut about 15 millimeters off the back. Then we'll find the approximate center and mark 110 millimeters on either side of that and cut an equal amount off of the left and right sides. That should get us down to our 220 millimeter size. Finally, we will notch the corners to clear the screw heads for the bed leveling screws. Now that we have the same magnet sheet cut to fit, let's remove the current build surface on our heated bed. Heat the bed up to about 70 degrees C and then get the edge of a scraper under one corner. Start peeling the surface up and keep working at it until you get it completely removed. Once the old build surface has been removed, clean the bare metal of the heated bed with a paper towel and isopropyl alcohol. With the heated bed clean, we can apply the magnetic base. Peel the backing off the adhesive side of the magnetic base and then carefully line it up and stick it down. Start at one edge and press it down a bit at a time until you reach the other side of the bed. Doing it this way will help prevent trapping air bubbles under the adhesive. Now you can stick the print surface onto the magnetic base. With that done, we're almost ready to print. First though, level your bed. You may need to adjust your Z end stop because this mod does add about a millimeter and a half to the height of the bed. But definitely level the bed first, and by leveling I mean tramming, which is a fancy word meaning everything is square and aligned, but that's a subject for a different video. Anyway, you know what I mean. Now, I've already leveled, uh, trammed the bed, so let's print a couple of things and see how this goes. So here we're printing a Calicat, and here's a Benji. I'm sorry about the exposure on the video, the models are kind of blown out. Now, removing the printed models from the C-magnet sheet is pretty simple. Mostly, it feels like peeling a sticker off the bottom of something. The models seem to stick really well to the print surface, and sometimes it feels like they stick a little too well. So I wanted to print something that occupied a larger portion of the print surface. The Alien 3D clock design fit the bill. Although it's round, it does extend pretty much to the extremes of the print surface. Now there is a fair amount of careful peeling involved and I'm doing this real time, I'm not speeding it up. So you can see what's involved in getting a larger print off of the build surface. Almost done. There we go, and it's finally free. So compared to the traditional way of removing models from the printer using a chisel, scraper, or spatula, this seems easier. 
Using the traditional method, I often find I deform the plastic ever so slightly at the point where the scraper forces its way into the model. The scraper method's a little faster, but with the seam magnet sheet, you're not having to use sharp tools, so it seems like it's safer. There's less chance of jabbing yourself at the scraper when the model suddenly lets go of the print surface. However, compared to the only other removable magnetic build surface I've ever used, namely the flex plate on the Prusa Mark III, I find the Mark III wins on ease of removal. I think it has to do with the rigidity of the spring steel sheet. Generally, you flex the sheet away from the model and that releases it. And sometimes flexing away from and then toward the model is all it takes, but it's way easier to get things off the Prusa Mark III. Now, having made that comparison, the nearest magnetic flex plate solution I can think of is the BuildTac solution, and that can run you about 80 bucks for a printer this size. So for the money, the Creality C-Magnet build surface seems like a pretty good value. I'll continue using it on this printer, and if anything starts to go horribly wrong, I'll let you know. Okay, so now we're at the part of the video where I say things like like, subscribe, and share, because those three things really do help the channel. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you didn't, give it a thumbs down, but either way, let me know what you think in the comments. If you want to help the channel with a one-time micropayment, you might consider buying me a coffee. I do like coffee. Or put a little something in the PayPal tip jar. I really appreciate both, and there's links in the description for that. If you haven't subscribed, you can do so by clicking the BB3D icon right over here and ring the bell to get notified when I release new videos. And over here is a video YouTube thinks you might enjoy. Well, that's all the time we've got, and I'm going to go print something cool. I want you to print something cool, too. See you next time.